Welcome to Mac Connections, the podcast. Keeping connected and looking after yourselves is so important during these changing times. We trust the following conversation will provide some helpful guidance. If you have any concerns, please get in contact with staff in the Year 12 team. We want to be able to provide all the support we can. Our patron, St Mary of the Cross MacKillop, wrote in 1875, May God bless and keep you and give you courage. We acknowledge the traditional owners of the land on which this podcast is recorded. We pay our respects to their elders, past and present, and to the Aboriginal elders emerging. Episode 16, with our senior students. Here is your host, Director of Wellbeing, Mr. Andrew Exton. Welcome to the next edition of Mac Connections Podcast. I've got three of my students from my PE class today, three Year 12 students, Carly, Mitch and Caitlin. Guys, we're just going to talk about your experience of remote learning and I'll go around and start with you, Charlie, first. How have you found it in terms of staying focused and motivating and the challenges around remote learning? Um, I found it a bit difficult just because I can't really motivate myself very easily. So um, I struggle a little bit doing my work and stuff. So, yeah. Yep. Mitch? Yeah, the motivation side of it has definitely been tough, but it's hard to say whether it's been easier or harder just because it's been so different. And, Caitlin, you talked about, you know, always feeling like you've got more time to do it. Is that been the challenge about getting work and completing work in a timely fashion and, and I suppose understanding the importance of completing it? Yeah, because um, I always tell myself, oh, I'll just finish at the end of the day and then sometimes I just don't get it done and, like, the next day I have to, like, rush to get it done for the class. I'll ask all of you. We haven't been at school. We've been at school for about 23 days since March the 22nd, actually a little bit more than that, maybe about 30 days. Is there anything that you took for granted about being at school that you now actually miss? What's, what's the stuff about school that you maybe appreciate a little bit more? Charlie? Um, social interaction. Social interaction. Mitch? Yeah. yeah, yeah, the same. Okay. And Caitlin, is there anything else than your friends that you miss? Like spending quality time in class with Mr. Exton, for instance, would be fairly high on the list, I imagine? Um, no. <laughs> No. <laughs> um, actually, maybe my study contract because I never used it. Okay, and... very good. Can I can I ask you, um, what's the best thing that a teacher has done to support you through this remote learning? Have they? Has there been any strategies that have worked for you, or ways that teachers have worked with you that have been have made it easier for you, or has it just been a grind across the board, Mitch? Um. I think every teacher's handled it a little bit differently and it's sort of worked in its own way. Some teachers are doing really short Zoom lessons. Some teachers are really trying to nurse us through it with longer Zoom sessions and then going through everything. So, yeah, it's been a bit different through every class. Charlie, anything that's worked for you? Um, I think just having teachers check up and see if everything's all good and, like, um, cause like sometimes I don't want to ask for help. So if the teacher comes to me first asking if I need help, I'm more likely to do it. So when they do that, I do feel a bit better about it and everything. So. And Caitlin, you've mentioned that the recordings that Mr. Exton's doing for PE are particularly, um, working for you. Is that true? Or is there anything that, um, that other teachers are doing that's sort of working for you as far as helping you be motivated? Um, pretty much like just like the Zooms and doing catch-ups and all that. It's pretty much helping. Is there any... I'll finish up soon and I want you to think about this question. Obviously, lots of stuff is taken away, been taken away from you or will be changed and that's already and going into the future. Mitch, I'll ask you first, how do you reckon you'll look back on this year? Do you think you'll want to wipe it from your memory or do you think that there might be some things that come out in the future that have come from the experience that you've had this year? Oh, I think everything's definitely going to change going into the future. Nothing will ever be the same. There'll be a large chunk that will want to be wiped because it hasn't been ideal. But in saying that, it's taught lessons on different things that you would never have had to worry about 
otherwise. And Mitch, I know that you had a series of really significant injuries that prevented you from being at your best last year in your football career. Are you, are you looking forward to reigniting both basketball and football careers when you get an opportunity to? I, well, I, I can't wait to get back. Honestly, it's just I haven't played a game since November last year, just through lockdown and injuries. And, yeah, it's been tough. So, Charlie, what about you? How do you think you'll reflect on this year and what's one non-school thing that you've really missed during this period? Um, I think I'll look back at this year as a bit of a joke, if I'm being honest. Like, yes. I'll just be able to laugh about it. Um, something that I've missed, probably the same as Mitch, like sport and like seeing people not from school, like not being able to see them and stuff. So, yeah. And Caitlin... You're one of so many students that have celebrated a significant birthday this year and not been able to celebrate it in the way. And for you, you know, your family is in another state. So it's been challenging on lots of different levels. What, what's one non-school thing that you've really missed and how do you think you'll reflect on this year? Um, I mean, I won't take like tiny things for granted anymore. And I probably miss like parties. Parties? <laughs> Going out, like having fun. Yep. Having, like, freedom. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, yep. not the, being stuck at home all the time. The, do you agree that you really miss the ability just to choose what you want to do when you sort of want to do it? That's probably the biggest thing that I find. And particularly when you guys are at school and you pretty much get told what to do and where to go, the time outside of school where you can just choose spontaneous, spontaneously to do something with somebody is the stuff that I'm going to miss. Well, guys, I'm going to leave you... I'm going to leave you there. I know that you've been so pleased to come on and talk about your experiences and you've done a fantastic job. And as Mitch said, maybe this podcast doesn't get listened to by that many people. So you're actually going to get away with not being ribbed and teased by all your friends that you actually were happy enough to come on and do it with me. So I do, um, I do wish you all the best of luck. And can I honestly say I only choose my favourite students to come on this podcast, so you guys must be somewhere near the top. So have a great day and um, thanks for coming on. And uh, if you need anything, just shout out and I'm happy to help in any way possible. Take care. Thanks, sir. Have a good weekend. Thank, Thank you. you. That brings us to the end of this episode. A reminder, if you do need any help, if you have any queries, questions or concerns, please contact a member of the Year 12 team. Be kind and look after yourself.